Hello YouTube, welcome to Red Faction Grill episode 7. Guess what? I passed that guy, I accidentally barked him, he started attacking me. So I'm going to now attack him. Wanna get out for me? Thank you. Okay, so I literally have nothing planned for this episode. Absolutely nothing. I didn't reload the game or anything. I don't have anything planned. I just, that happened, so I figured I'd flip on the recording. And the thing is, I could do that house arrest. Oh, I know what a good, I know it's a good idea. I'm gonna do this house of rat. Is that an EDF person? Not anymore. <laughs> hey, wait, more EDF, more EDF, more EDF. We gotta screw, we gotta screw their faces. We gotta, well, I mean, no, we can't do that because they're not statues. We gotta crush their skulls. Screw you, and screw you. There you go, there you go. That's, uh, that's done. Let's return to the staff car. So, uh, on par with the whole 15 minute thing, it, thing I'm going to here hang on I don't know if this hu this house arrest will probably just be like a couple minutes now let me save the game now let me load it to repair my car and then I'll do the house arrest activity all right there we go the house arrest activity is actually up there so I'm gonna have to use that bridge to get across but what if I had blown up that bridge as you can see it's damaged again again bridges are useful is this guy gonna attack me just for existing is he going to attack me for existing is he going to attack me? Hang on, hang on, need a good vantage point. Is he going to attack me for existing? It doesn't look to be the case. Alright, now here's the house arrest activity. Is that a hydrogen tank? Yep. We got blow it up because it gives you like two salvage. And, you know, every number is made up of ones, right? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Alright. Alright, we've got two hostages here, which is... Which is... I don't know if it's really a good or bad thing, but the good thing is that we have a staff car with uh, three extra seats besides the driver, not to mention the mounted gun. This should be a piece of cake. I'll just run in, batch a couple of skulls, and then we'll be done. Are there going to be any jerks up there because I reloaded the game? Looks like there are people up there, but I don't know if they're jerks or not. So, is this the one that... Yeah, it is the one in that, t in that tower. And some more business have has actually come up, so I'm going to have to pause the recording again, which sucks. Well, and the game, too. Okay, business taken care of. Back to the house arrest activity. Wait, why is it telling me to go over the... Oh. I think it wants me to go the back way around, but I'm not going to do that. Let's park my car here, actually. Maybe the back way is a good idea. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, the back way is a good idea because it's closer. It's closer to the tower. I will park my car right here. <clears throat> there we go. It seems to be rolling a bit. No, never mind. No, it isn't rolling. Okay, so, now, we have the sledgehammer. I already see jerks. Screw you. And you. And you. I missed. And you. There we go. There's just three guys here. Just three. Just three. Nope. Four. Just four. <laughs> just four. Just four. All right, so there's that guy done. Yep, yep, there we go. And there's a ladder. And hang it. Go with the ladder. There you go. And the other one should be up here, yes. Yes, here she is. Here we go. Wait. Something about the... Something about the... Well, I, j I just did. Here. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look and see what happens. I'm gonna look at them and watch how they follow me. See that? That's really good. Here, I'm gonna look away. Now the other one will probably teleport. Watch the map. Watch the mini-map. There we go. There she is. <laughs> love this game. I love this game's AI on Escort. On people you're supposed to escort. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, you will not be you will not be a problem today. No, you will not. Screw your EDF. Screw your EDF. Red faction for the win. Red faction. We are going to liberate Mars just as hard as Rico liberated Medici. Because that's who we are. We're liberators. We are revolutionaries. Viva la Mars! I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm making the drive a little more interesting. There we go. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was easy. Over there. And around here. There we go. There we go. That's it. <laughs> I can't move while they get out. All right. Okay. Oh, minus 25. We're at two. We're at two EDF control now. How do I get? We're at. Wow. Okay. So I blew up a bunch. All right. You know what? I think I know what this video is going to be. This video is going to be hunting for the last of the air. Besides that, because I'll have that as its own episode, I'm going to be hunting for the... Actually, no, no, I won't be hunting. Because I know that there's one right around the corner right there. Oh, it exploded at some point. Oh, 
Okay, so this is sub normally supposed to be some EDF property right here, but apparently not. Let's make sure it's make sure it collapses. Like so, <laughs> and that one, and <laughs> there you go. I don't know why I did that. There was no gameplay reason to do that. So, yeah, I guess this episode. How about that? How about for this episode, I'll go hunt for like. One more thing to bring the EDF control down to zero. And I'm still going to do the high importance target in the next episode. But even though there won't be a point of doing it anymore. But let's, let's, just, let's just do that, right? A couple of ore deposits here. Let's mine them. I love the staff car. I just realized that. I really like the staff car. It's got four doors. It's got four doors for those house arrest activities like that. And it's got a mounted gun. What more do you want? And, uh... People can get in and out easily because of the NPCs can get in and out easily. They can still get in the APC, but I don't think it's as quick. The supply truck is way too big, but I think I like the staff car. In terms of gameplay, was that a green? Do you see on the map, mini map, they're a green thing? I think that's like a uh, backstory collectible. Yep. Yeah, this is in the game. I'll let this play. Yeah, so these are collectibles that gives you like it gives you like a little voice clip. Yeah, hidden radio tags to uncover the location of Ultor era bombs. Those are fun. <laughs> so that's like a little bit of a backstory. That's like a little bit of a backstory. It uncovers the lore of Mars a little bit. I just realized I'm kind of going towards the free fire zone. Yeah, yeah, told you. <laughs> I told you. I think technically I won't be shot unless I go like past there so and you'll see there's like more ore, more ore I'll take that I'm like just on a ooh some more ore up there yeah, sure why not <laughs> I'm just on a mining spree by the way since I'm out of the free I just said by the way again I'm sorry since I'm out of the free fire zone that means if I find something EDF to blow up it won't give me the two control left in Parker so I guess I will just cut wait did I miss anything did I miss no 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 I didn't I guess I'll just kind of drive by the free fire zone, show you a little bit, then go back to Parker. So up there, and that actually goes to dust, and we'll need to turn around there. And then we'll go back to Parker. Okay. This guy gonna attack me? This guy gonna... See, I knew they don't attack you on green alert. Oh, see my turret? Do you see the turret? It's kind of locked on. See that? You can actually fire the turret while you're in the car, but not in the turret, but it only fires forward. But if there's like an enemy behind you, it'll kind of lock on a little bit, so you actually shoot something. <laughs> so you can actually shoot something when that happens. So, is that in... What is that? Is that part of the free fire zone? That looks like... That looks like it might be dangerous to go... I see an EDF bunker as well, so maybe we shouldn't go there. Maybe we shouldn't go there in case it's covered by the free fire zone artillery base. By the way, the artillery base is actually a thing. It's up here. That's that. So, that's where the artillery is firing from. It's heavy artillery, by the way. Really heavy. Oh yeah, by the way, there's like the checkpoints. If you go past that, you'll get shot out by the magic artillery. Fun fact! I actually went in the free fire zone with like unlimited health. And the artillery curves towards your position. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't hit designated spots, it's not fired, and it's going to hit a designated spot. Like, it curves to you, it follows you, it's like homing artillery, because magic doesn't want the player going there. So, is this our turn off? I believe this is our turn off. What? Oh. Oh, this is, this is one of those later game, uh, I'll take this. Welcome to Dust, the second, uh, the second province, per se. So, this is a, I'm going to be attacked by these guys. So this is a uh, random random encounter style activity. What am I supposed to do? This Just, must be the courier. Oh, I'll have to follow him. All right, I can do that. I can do that. Track the courier and stop him before he delivers his information. Once the courier is dead, collect the de data and get the alert level to green and to complete your deck objective. Wait. Oh, before he delivers his information? All right, am I supposed to kill him then? Screw you! I guess that ought to do, right? Right? Nope, my turret moves here. That ought to do. My uh, turn needs to cool off. There, excuse me, civilian. There, hang on, hang on. There, that 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 looks like an aim. That looks like it'll do. That'll do. This is useful. Oh crap, red red alert. Okay, get out. Get out. Get the stuff. Where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? There it is. That's a ghost turret. That's a ghost turret. 
Welcome to battle, my friends. This is going to be an issue. Are we clear on that front? Yep. Over there. That guy. Him. I think we're clear. Freaking took my turret. Alright, now. I guess we're clear enough. There we go. Let's just be on our way. And, uh... There, see how the turret kind of locks on a little bit? I think that might have been a Gauss turret. So, I think... Hey, nope. <laughs> okay, now we're supposed to lose our... To escape our alert level, and I guess I'll just drive back to Parker to do that. So, this might bring down the control in dust, by the way. I don't know if it'll... Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> Actually, we're going back to Parker, so... Uh, by the way, uh, you know how I said that uh, tur uh, vehicles can have Gauss turrets? That was a Gauss turret. Do you see that? the random explosion, that was a gauss turret. So that's dust by the way. Parker, the lighting, the lighting changes for each province. I know I keep saying provinces, but it's more like region. The lighting changes for each province, and Parker is the one that looks most like Mars. Dust looks pretty pale and dusty, as you saw. So I guess this is good to make this video and episode end up like 15 minutes or so. Uh, that's not good, excuse me. Excuse me, don't hit me, thank you. Up, a little too much on the turn there. Alright, orange alert, alright, good. That's good, and there we go. There we go, we did it. We did it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, what did that do for, like, control? Because I'm in Parker. Oh, 360. Yeah, that did look like, it does look like it brought down the control. So, so that's good, that's a good thing. That's good. Wait, will that bring down control? Maybe. Oh, that's part of the base that I didn't want to do. And uh, one thing, as you just saw, you can go to Dust and the Badlands and Oasis from the start of the game. So, I guess we'll return to hunting for like, I got the morale up in Dust, nice, nice. I'm gonna save my game so it repairs my staff car. There we go, staff car repaired it in the designated spot. Let's go find a thing to blow up because we only have two EDF control points left. Two EDF control, they're holding this they're holding this province still with the mere with the measly threat of two points. If you see anything red on the map, you let me know, but you technically can't because this isn't live. <laughs> Let's check here in particular. Maybe there's like a fuel tank that I missed. Well, do you think this episode is 15 minutes yet? <laughs> uh, up there, through here. What is that broadcast? Do you think I should? Do you think I should shut it up? I won't bother. Oh, there it is. Uh, those that we blew up over there. I think there's nothing at this spot. Let's moving on. Oh, tank! Take that. Take, take two salvage. Thank you very much. By the way, it's entirely possible that there is nothing left, and I will have to just uh, go and attack that. That way. I was wondering what that is. Isn't that the base that you blow up? How about that. Oh, that's that place around there. Maybe. I don't know where there is something. There's the Red Rock Trading Post. There's that. I guess we could go there. I guess we could go there, even though that's technically a mission area. This game is kind of... This, this is an open world... Is that the... Yeah, yeah, it is. This game is an open world game, but it's uh, not... But it's also a little bit linear. Is there anything up here? What the heck is up here? Absolutely nothing, apparently. So anyway, this game is sort of linear. Like, there are a lot of places that are sort of linear and you can tell they're designed for a mission. This entire half of Dust basically is, is Dust Park. That entire half of Parker is basically part of a mission, but I'm going to go there anyway, see if there's anything EDF that I can blow up. Uh, by the way, that's the liberation mission to uh, liberate Parker. The way this game works is that uh, you do all the missions, then you bring the control down to zero to unlock the final mission, and then you do that, and then you liberate. See that thing? See those things? Those are the things you're going to have to blow up in the mission. So, I guess I'm going to go around to that small EDF base, see if I can hopefully find something to bring EDF control down, because we only have two EDF control left to do. Uh, up here, I believe, is the way. Yeah, there's some ore over there, but I guess I won't bother. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, I won't. Okay, now please tell me there's something up here for me to blow up. Tell me there's something red. Tell me there's something red. Tell me there's something red. Doesn't look to be the case. Nope. <sighs> Nuts. Well... I guess we'll I guess we'll keep looking then. I suppose maybe, maybe. <laughs> Again, in case you didn't hear me the first time, it's entirely possible that there is nothing left except the high importance target. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to press that button, but at least we didn't take a lot of damage. No problem. No problem there. Moving on. 
I like this flat open area. It's nice. Kind of feel like out of all the places on this map, this feels the most Mars. <laughs> Parker feels the most Mars out of all the regions, and this flat area for this mission feels feels the most Mars. No, don't hit that rock. Just give him that rock. Up there. Yeah, I think there's nothing left. I think there's nothing left, sadly. Uh, maybe I'll take... Maybe... Uh, I'm gonna go back to the main area of Parker. Hope I find something. Let's find a strange mountain pass in here. It's like a shortcut back to Parker if you're in the free fire zone. Apparently... What the heck? Uh, okay, we're in Parker. Wait. Uh, what? I'm in the free fire zone? Those are the smokestacks, and those are the things you blew up, and the demolitions activity. This is like, you'd think this would be an area that you'd like just die if you fell in, but apparently no, there's a bunch of ore here, and there's also a dump... Oh! Oh! This is an activity. This is uh, one of the activities. See that transporter get the vehicle to a safe house? Once I get in that truck, the activity will start. So this is like a big area that I've never been in with a bunch of ore deposits, and also a... Uh, and also a transporter activity. I've never been here. I saw this mountain pass over here, and I decided to turn into it and see what, see what, we, would, see what we would find. Okay, so I'm pretty sure all the stuff to blow up there has been blown up. There, that's just the base that you blew up in the second mission. There, also blew it all up. There's nothing there. Nothing there, there, I'm going to try around there, and then if there's nothing there, I guess there, I guess we can't, I guess we can't bring the control down to two without going to the high importance target. I uh, hope, I really hope there's something over here. Really hope, oh, I really hope this doesn't appear to be the case. Wait, I mean, well, I mean this propaganda, see, <laughs> this propaganda, let's go shut it up, right? They won't give me any control, but I'm still going to shut it up. You know why? Screw it! Screw the propaganda. Screw it. Screw the EDF. Here we go. Hold on. I just tank. Thank you, salvage. Thank you very much. And moving along. You know, it'd be really cool if you could get EDF control for. If you could bring down the EDF control for like every hundred EDF soldiers you kill, that'd be great. Don't attack me. Don't you do it. Uh. So I think that I can't blow up that because it's already blown up everything up there. I guess that's it. We just have the EDF control to... Well, mm, maybe I'll find an active... No, no. I think there's nothing left, unfortunately. You know what else this is the end of? The episode. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, YouTube. I like my drift. Nice. It's like a wallpaper. Yeah, that that could be like a wiki... That could be like a wiki picture. <laughs> red rock. Red rock sign in the background. Goodbye, YouTube.